that effort he didn't celebrate one bit keeping very very focused indeed is the 27 year old oh and that's big as well massive effort from Ticon he has indeed it's one meters maybe a little bit beyond for my money supreme form from Ticon he's second on the world rankings behind Murda Fushi but at the moment at least it's the uh, Japanese who sits in second place and it's the man from Belarus who is commanding things at the moment 81.77 grabs more than another meter really setting us up nicely in the first half of the competition still only uh, Tikon himself over 80 meters and he's got the bit up we want to get this race underway is you know is beyond me but yeah John did a good job in basically getting the crowd on his side and even when he wasn't here they still were protesting for him to be in the race well semis and uh, final to come tonight and sharing top billing in a way tonight although there's some other fabulous athletics of course with Jonathan Edwards uh, Tim just put into perspective what a fantastic career this triple jumper has given Britain how long have I got <laughs> I mean, where do you start? You know, I think Jonathan's triple jumping over the last uh, 10 years has been phenomenal, of course. But I mean, if you look at that competition in Gothenburg eight years ago when he broke the world record, you know, just took the event into a totally different zone. You have to say it is one of the, if not the greatest athletics performance in history. You know, it just destroyed people's perceptions of what the 17 metre barrier meant because he just blasted through the 18 metre barrier and went way into 18 metre confident. I was talking to some Swedish journalists in the press centre earlier and they were saying that also not the qualifying when he jumped I think 1868 apparently said it felt like an 80 uh, sorry 1768 said it felt like a, a 17 confidence but uh, I would love to see Jonathan go out with a bang I really would and so say all of us Tim so uh, more from Dean Macy and more from Jason Gardner as the evening goes on but let's concentrate now on the third day of the ninth World Athletics Championships back to Paris and the uh, Stadium de France at Saint-Denis your commentators on the terrific action to come Derek Redmond and Tim Hutchings well, you join us in the stadium with the final of the hammer, and that is Mirafishi, the early lead with 79 metres, with his third round attempt. There you see his card, 79.68 in the second round. And now he uh, is in the circle for his third attempt. And that's, well, it's way over 75 metres. Possibly 77 metres, there or thereabouts not going to improve tick on the leader and uh Skvaruk, who we've just seen throw there who lies in third place have had bad experiences in major championships before uh, Tikon, for example was fourth at the 2000 olympics i don't think he's going to relinquish this uh, lead without a big big fight here today and Skvaruk himself lost the world championship silver medal six years ago in athens in greece losing the gold left to throw in this third round two of them are ahead of him Cosmos being one of them with his opening throw of 78 meters and 16. No throw in the second round and this is his third throw. He's in fifth position so he will uh, safely continue in this competition. As will Devia Tosfi. He's at next to throw. And then number four six seven figure well he's in 11th place at the moment with 73 meters and 97 he is the only man that could uh, knock Konovalov kind of out of this competition 78 meters exactly and I can tell you while while he was on the break this is what he threw and hammer coming down to 76 meters and six so he stays in eighth position that all important position 2001 yeah uh, didn't make the final and again over the 75 meters maybe 76 and a half 77 and Papa Dimitri another one of these clutch of these uh, Greek athletes who uh, for some reason don't compete too much but just looking at Papa Dimitri card he actually has uh, had quite a few competitions about 11 which uh, 
compared to some of the Greek athletes, that would equate to about three seasons. <laughs> <laughs> and Pulnava, the third in the world rankings. Back to this hammer, though, which is really building up nicely. But the crowd trying to get behind the Frenchman here. Well, that's around about 75 metres. I'm afraid it's not going to be enough to get him in to the final. 76 metres and 49 is what was needed. His best is 73-97 in the first round. And uh, he won't make the final eight, unfortunately. 74 metres and six. It's an improvement, but unfortunately... Into disrepute. So the IWF look to me like they're going to deal with this very, very uh, harshly indeed. Very strict response from the Federation. Well, now the leader in this hammer competition, Ivan Tikhon from Belarus, 27 years of age. Fourth round throw. And that's not as good as his uh, previous two throws. That's come down at about 76 and a half metres. Back in 2000. That moved to six on the all-time world list this year. With 84 metres and 32. And she threw on August the 8th in Minsk this year. So a big personal bet. Hungarian flags being proudly waved in this stadium, which is only about 50% filled tonight. It's, uh, or shall I say this afternoon, this evening, because it's uh, surprising with the men's 100 metre semi-final and finals tonight. And well, that's a good throw for Anas. Again, around the 78, 79 metre mark. Bananas knows 79 metres and one, so he stays in fourth. I was just about to say, maybe he could, in the hammer, this is his fourth round effort. He's currently in seventh position with 77 metres and 79. And that coming off of tape. Just happened a few seconds ago. It's being measured now. Around the 77 metre mark again. 75 62 he opened with, then 77 79. That's his best at the moment. And in the third round, 77 metres and five. And now. I think he's. Now, Mirafushi. He's had the uh, very, very first round early lead. He now finds himself down in second position with 79 metres and 99. Agonisingly one centimetre away from 80 metres but he needs more than that he needs 81.78 if he wants to go in the lead because 81.77 is the current lead by Tikhon who's last to throw well he's hit the 80 metre mark again but it's not going to be enough nowhere near enough to take the lead he needs another one metre 77 Oh, his coach there. 79 metres and 91. Eight centimetres off. 35. Well, this is the man currently in bronze medal position. Skavorak. Oh! <laughs> Just smashing yeah, into the me. flowers down there at trackside. But uh, maybe he thinks it's worse. Maybe he thinks the only way I'm going to get on there. Well, he doesn't want to wreck it because at the moment he will be on there in third position. Oh, look. <laughs> one concern in which the uh, camera slides. Old number one back in 2002. And won those European Championships last year. And the World Cup. It was ninth last time he competed at the World Championships. That was in 2001. And has competed in the last two Olympics as well. Uh, that's on the 75 metre mark. So again... That's not going to improve on his uh, current position. In fact, my mistake, this is Cos Cosmos. 74 metres and 76. Anas is next into the circle. Forgive me. 
Still no mark for that fourth round effort of Papa Dimitriou. So whether they're going to give him a mark or not, let him throw again. I mean, I, I don't know what the uh, in this uh, hammer competition, which has had a couple of uh, pauses in it for these uh, medal ceremonies, and it can't be doing the uh, throwers any good at all. But uh, the leader, Tighon, you saw his fourth round effort. Well, uh, he stepped over the mark, and it was an, recorded as a no jump. They're now into. And this is Devia Tosli. Now he's in the ring for the fourth time. We'll bring that mark of Papa Dimitriou as soon as we've got it. And that one, well, it won't get measured because it's almost on the track. Devia Toski <laughs> in sixth position and almost hitting the uh, the rostrum there. Eventually have to accept. And uh, Drummond, of course, I wonder how he felt when he woke up this morning, whether he regretted his actions or not. Well, Cosmos currently in fifth position with 78-16. Well, that could be a bit better. Eight meter mark again. Primoz Cosmos. The Slovenian, Slovenian record holder. He's only 23 years of age. On the best of 81 meters and 21. He too. His best throw coming in the first round at the moment. 78 meters and 13. Had a no throw in the fourth. And that one coming under 75 metres. And I won't be surprised at all. Well, he's getting it measured. I was going to say I wouldn't be surprised at all if he just stepped out of the front of the circle. Because it's by far his shortest throw of the competition. And quite frankly, it's not really worth measuring it. 73 metres and 99. Nearly three metres shorter than his previous worst throw. If that made sense. Well, John Drummond, of course, has taken up a lot of our conversation time today. It took up an enormous amount of time last night, did the American. He uh, delayed for two metres and ten. And this is Papa, Medi Papa Dimitriou, who has now been given 77 metres and 70 for that fourth round effort that, uh, that they couldn't measure earlier on. Oh, the computers equipment failed whatever the problem was he's now given 77 meters and 70 in the fourth and he's just got a no throw as you see and again heading towards the rostrum the podium and those flowers it's a chance to see Anus's 80 meter throw coming to you off tape this was a few minutes ago and this one from Anis took him up to the silver medal position, 80 metres 36, his first time over 80 metres in this competition. And the Hungarian 30-year-old, world number two last year, with wins at the European Championship by that throw of uh, Anus in the sixth round, 80 metres 36. Muri Fushi himself has gone out to over 80 metres in the fifth round with 80-12, but uh, he's under pressure. This is final chance. No, it's below 80 metres, and the Japanese will have to settle for bronze. Came into these championships as the favourite, on top of the world rankings, with a throw of almost 85 metres, but today can barely scrape over the 80 metre line. Well, they're not robots, it can't be done to order, and we know, as Derek was saying, that he had a nasty fall in training, banged an elbow very hard a couple of weeks ago. So things haven't gone smoothly in the run-in to these championships. It's 79.07 for the Japanese. Completes a very, very solid series. And at least he will be on the rostrum. It does...
Well, he gets it away, and it looks pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good for the, for him. Remember, his line is his best at the moment, and that is a slight improvement, 79 meters and 68. So he's not going to get a medal, but uh, he has improved throughout this competition. 78-16 in the first, and he had a no throw. Then 78 exactly in the third, then a 74, 76, a bit of. relaxed the adrenaline must be pumping through his, his system as he goes into the circle now he knows full well that the gold medal is his against a stellar field oh and that's big well it's amazing what relaxation can do sometimes and Tikon there surely has thrown about a meter further than his previous best throw, which itself was good enough for gold. 81-77 came in round three, and that from, from uh, Tikon is surely around uh, 82 and a half, 83 meters.